welcome Climate Viewers. My name is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News at climateviewer.com and climateviewer.org. It is August 17th, 2017, and breaking story out of India. Is black carbon affecting the monsoons and the other article title? Airplanes may be affecting ozone layer. The paper was released August 10th, 2017, and it's on atmospheric chemistry and physics.net. Possible climactic implications of high altitude black carbon emissions. This group of scientists from the Indian Institute of Science and the Space Physics Lab over there basically used the Calypso satellite to observe black carbon emissions as high as 18 kilometers in the sky. What does this mean? This means that exhaust from jet aircraft, particularly something called black carbon or carbon black soot, this carbon black dust is a result of improper burn of jet fuel. So the jet fuel leaves soot everywhere. Everybody's seen soot around a campfire. Anytime you burn something, you get black soot. So when you don't burn diesel fuel properly, you produce small amounts of soot or large amounts of soot, which then can melt the poles they also say so there have been uh articles going back quite a while about these black highways on the north pole melting the poles um in addition they say that this black carbon as it self levitates from the troposphere through the tropopause into the stratosphere where it can hang out for years it is destroying the ozone layer so now we have another issue for the airline industry to contemplate in addition to these guys saying that it's destroying the ozone layer it's affecting the monsoon on the possibility of weather modification by aircraft contrails aircraft emissions are likely affecting the weather to a greater extent than present cloud seeding operations are so he was basically saying that back in 1976 that just the exhaust, the planes making clouds, they were affecting the weather to a greater extent than anybody who was paying for weather modification. These guys modify the weather on a daily basis. The cirrus clouds created by aircraft have been attributed to a heat trapping effect, which is melting the Greenland ice sheet. So if you put all of this together, what are you left with? Is CO2 melting the poles? (laughs) Or is layers of black carbon on the ice sheets and the clouds above them that are trapping the heat in all coming from the planes are aircraft melting the poles everybody check out the paper possible climactic implications of high altitude black carbon emissions stay tuned at climateviewer.com climateviewer.org and youtube.com slash jim lee climate viewer spread the word guys and unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot Nothing's going to get better. It's not.